business. Notice number two, motion relating to the Australian Red Cross. The member for Ryan. Mr Deputy Speaker, I move the motion relating to the centenary of the Australian Red Cross in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Mr Deputy Speaker, I rise today as co-chairman of the Parliamentary Friends of Red Cross to join with my colleagues from all political spectrums sponsoring this motion to acknowledge a century of service by the Australian Red Cross. Since 1914, the Australian Red Cross has bound together the power of humanity to give relief to those in crisis. The 13th of August 2014 marked the centenary anniversary of the Australian Red Cross, making it one of Australia's longest-running volunteer organisations. Although the International Committee of the Red Cross was formed in 1862, the Australian Division of the Red Cross was established a week after the outbreak of World War I in August 1914. A century later, and it still continues to deliver much-needed services to the Australian and international community. Whether it is a hurricane, earthquake or tsunami, the Australian Red Cross is always one of the first organisations to provide much-needed relief. The Australian Aid Program has a partnership agreement with the Australian Red Cross. This means that we are providing $9 million in funding this year to support humanitarian training, disaster preparedness and disaster risk reduction activities in disaster-prone countries in our region. In addition, we fund the Australian Red Cross to implement development projects such as health services in Afghanistan and water sanitation and hygiene wash, in Bangladesh and Nepal. During humanitarian crises, Australia regularly channels additional funding to the Australian Red Cross to assist vulnerable and disaster-affected people. The Australian Red Cross is also the managing partner of the Australian Volunteers for International Development Program. Initially, the purpose of the Australian Red Cross was to seek ways in which the inadequacies of the Army medical services could best be overcome so as to alleviate the discomfort and pain suffered by those wounded in the conflicts of the First World War. The Australian community bound together in an effort like no other to make large amounts of clothing, socks, vests, mittens, pyjamas and linens for the war effort. From the date of its inception until the armistice, of the, Red, the, armistice the Red Cross dispatched a total of 395,695 food parcels and 36,339 clothing parcels. The Australian attitude of mateship has most definitely been enhanced by the presence of the Red Cross in the community, with a legacy of companionship lasting to the present day. It is with the help of the Australian Red Cross that the generous culture of our nation has been fostered. The centenary year of Red Cross in Australia is therefore a significant milestone in the social history of our nation, as it marks 100 years of humanitarian service to the people of Australia. As a prisoner of war in Stalagul III, my father still speaks about the Red Cross parcels when recounting his experiences at that time. I acknowledge that much of Australian society shares a personal connection with the Red Cross, whether it is through volunteering or receiving help themselves. As a member of the now Western Suburbs branch of the Red Cross for 20 years, a disaster volunteer and a former Queensland board member, I have seen firsthand the outstanding work undertaken by Red Cross volunteers, from knitting literally thousands of trauma teddies to running the Red Cross shops, and their invaluable contribution at times of disasters, such as the children, Childers Backpackers Fire, the Bali bombings and the devastating floods and fires in Australia. The Red Cross, from an extremely important role played during both world wars, to assisting with many natural disasters and providing assistance and response to situations involving vulnerable individuals and communities has been recognised by the Australian Government over the years. The Australian Government is, highly values the efforts performed by the Red Cross as an association and each individual who has chosen to volunteer their time or donate blood. It is a great testament to humanity's willingness to help those in need that the movement is scattered around 189 countries worldwide. The Australian Red Cross boasts over one million volunteers, members, staff, donors, aid workers and supporters alone. Mr Deputy Speaker, 13th of August 2014 was indeed a momentous day, marking the 100-year anniversary of the Australian Red Cross. However, for the Red Cross and for all those they help, it is just another day. Another day where ordinary people work together to achieve extraordinary feats for the betterment of our society 
and humanity as a whole. On behalf of everyone in this chamber, I say thank you to Red Cross and their volunteers.